Yes, we are ready. Oh my God, it's coming on. Oh my God, about to pop off. Everybody, it is Evan Hollywood Digital Experience. Yes. Y E S. Yes. 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 And we yes. are back. Hello there, Jimmy Ace. Hey, hello there, Mr. Evan Hollywood. How are you doing? Producer extraordinaire. Everybody, give Jimmy Ace a round of applause. Yes. Fresh off a, a a stint on hot sugar. Hot sugar. You was with the ladies. I I, I, uh, I just wish it was a person. <laughs> yeah, it's my only thing. With uh, in the middle of uh, Indea and and Miss O D now. Ari that's a bad sandwich, by the way. Ari was not. That's a pretty good sandwich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ari was sick. Not only if uh. Oh, that's what happened. I think okay. Ari caught a cold from me uh, shoving my tongue down. I thought, oops. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry, Ari, that blew it up. <sighs> no, actually, uh, actually, uh, I wish. Um, <laughs> this Ari Good was uh, the was bedridden with the flu, so Miss O D and and Daya held it down. That was on Hot Sugar. By the way, you can catch that every Saturday night, 11 p.m. Yes. on Dollhouse Radio. The link is blogtalkradio.com backslash Dollhouse Radio. They always say forward slash, so I say forward slash. Forward slash. Good point. You know. Forward slash Dollhouse yes. Radio. Make sure you check all the shows out on dollhouseradio.com. Of course, the Heaven Hollywood Digital Experience is sponsored by Dollhouse Radio. Miss Indiana Morell. Yes. Special shout out once again. Oh, tonight we have a great show. Oh, do we? Coming up in a few minutes. Yeah, both minds. The sexy. Are, yes. I'll say like Chris Brandon. The sexy Mindy Mink will be with us. Mindy Mink in the house. Yeah. <laughs> We're for Lady Cindy Mink. Well, what are we waiting for? Oh, I'll be waiting for Rock. You can't win, Rock. You can't win, Rock. I think I have it on Where is it? <laughs> you can't wait. It's going to kill you to death. <laughs> I think I do have it. <laughs> it's coming close. Speaking of killing someone to death and, and you can't win, it's coming closer and closer to Mayweather Pacquiao. I'm starting to get juice Ooh, up. A, it's actually less than, less than a month. Than you think less than a month away. Are you having some sort of special get together, or are you going someplace where you know you can watch I'm it? I'm going somewhere where I know I can watch it, and if you don't, and if you don't, exactly, if you don't have any plan, <laughs> all I have to do is bring. Kenny or something food wise, well, that's and what let's you do. That's and that, what you that's do. what you, you do. Know, that's what you do when, when you're with a friend. You know, right. That's the that's the the, the rules of ethics. When when ethics. people, rules especially this fight, and I would say especially this fight, this fight pay per view is a hundred bucks. Okay. So right. So my friend always allows me to watch it because he's a Mayweather fan. He always allows me to watch the Mayweather fight, and he allows me to bring whoever I want. And he doesn't ask me to do anything, but. If he's gonna be paying 100 oh God, nice, you know, like, he's a hundred bucks, be nice, and then he and then he serves little boxing appetizers, or whatever, like oh. chicken wings, oh, and, wow. and, and, and then there's liquor there. Oh, so of course you have to bring something. Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, at least like you said, like you said. Right. I might even go in and, and, and handle twenty bucks, you know, just so I could say, Hey, I paid my part. Yeah, yeah. You can't say I, I, I try to reach over. Probably gonna be twenty niggas there. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's gonna be we gonna make sure we get there early. If you come with me, you better get up early that day because we gonna have to be over there. Eight o'clock. Damn fight gonna start till one AM. We gonna make sure we there at eight o'clock. See that's a that's a bad if I didn't get up early the next morning, five AM, I would do it. If that was my younger well, years, I would have said screw it. <laughs> I know I would say screw it if I was younger. No, no doubt about it. I would say well, screw that. Cause I did that a lot of times. Like, trust me. But as I said, Miss Mindy Meek. Yeah, Mindy Meek. Will be uh, with us here. Mm, very lovely. Sexy milf. What a what a rat she has. I still can't believe uh, how old she is. Remember I told you? Yeah, she's what forty five. Yeah, I gotta ask her. You know. Sheesh. Like, she I could have she told me. <laughs> Uh, no, I think she's 45. I think this September she turned 46. And she just started like last year or something. Wow. She's nice. She's giving me mm. updated on her latest scenes and I'm like, Jesus Christ. Man, she is hot. Yeah, she's hot. I'm telling you. No, I have to. Oh my God. She's hotter than. I mean. No, I have to admit. I have to admit. And I don't mean to throw you under the bus. Huh. And I don't like doing this. I have to admit. But, I'm a tad bit jealous. Of, of of the pictures oh, that she made for you, and I I'm going to ask I go uh, this is how I, I do it. it I I I am a man of integrity. This is how I do it. You are. I want <laughs> yeah, right. I want to ask you, is it okay if I ask her for a customized picture? <laughs> Would you feel some type of way? Because no. I'm, I'm telling you, there are guys, not you, because you know you're, you're not that way. No, I, but I, there are guys that would be like, hey, dude, do what you gotta do, and then oh, back, we just about right, that, and then like, behind your back they're like, oh, what, oh, I, why can't I just have a picture? Uh, no, no, no. He has to try to get a picture like uh, me. Two, two, before we have our this to pull back the curtain, this is what happened. She actually does this with her fans. Okay. She does these personalized things. So when I noticed she did that, I asked her. I actually very did good. This. Very I said, good. Can you do that same thing and put my name. Oh, I want that. And then, uh, uh, you know, James Acevedo. What, what was that? Oh, oh man. Um, um, he was the man Oh, James Acevedo that. Roos. That's what I said. He was the man for that. I, I'm I should have put James Acevedo was here. That would have been better. Oh, that's great. But that's not true. I don't want to. If it was true, she, then. She doesn't care. She, she'd do it. You're I a fan of hers? Oh, she was doing it. Oh, I'm going to. I have to ask her. Oh, uh, the torture. I, I'm, no, so, but, I'm sorry. I so do have to ask her. No, so to be Can fair. Can she write? So to be fair, it wasn't like she just did it. Right. I'm gonna yeah, ask her. Yeah. Oh, yeah I'm gonna say I saw a picture. Yeah, yeah. My man, and, 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 and of my man, my producer here. Yeah. I have to admit, I was, I was a little jealous. I, I thought the picture was amazing, and I'm I'm requesting that. Yeah. yeah. I, I want I, one of those. I ain't gonna lie. When I saw that, my ego was. I felt very good. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It felt very good. You know how many times I, re, I retweeted it. <laughs> Especially at the time, it wasn't getting late. So we're gonna so get her on. on. Let's we'll get on a couple minutes early. Oh yes. Oh, that's good. Okay, cool. That's fine. Why not? So. Goes. Oh yeah. So just to, to like I was saying to to close this situation, it wasn't like she just did out the book. That would have been right. more amazing. But still, for her just to do a period. Is, oh yes. Oh yes. You know, because she didn't have to do that. I just put the ball in her court, and it was like a few weeks later. It wasn't like right away she did it, and then she was like, "Here it is." I was like. Ah. <laughs> it was lovely. So hopefully you get that same. They call her. I saw here a couple people call her Queen Milf. No, the Queen of the Mills well, already. Well, think about it. Well, see, you know that's a hard. That's high praise. No, no pun. No, no pun intended. That's a hard situation to really think about because <laughs> I love Sammy Brooks and she's a milf. Sammy she's Brooks. A five milf. Sammy Brooks is hot. And uh, Melissa Dawson, who usually comes out with Sammy on the cocktail, she's not bad either. See, don't put me in that situation. I don't know. <laughs> well, I will. You know, I don't. No, know. of course. We, 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 but, but yeah, remember, I'm I'm just quoting what I've seen. Oh, I, yeah, I I didn't say it. it. I didn't say it either. <laughs> I'm not putting myself in that situation. I work with Sammy. I already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. We love. Um, shout out to the Sammy. Absolutely. She showed us our her her titties. Uh, was that an amazing and surprise? She see, that's what. See, that was different. That, that was a genuine response. We didn't ask her to do that. She just did it. Okay, so. And we were like. We should let's not, let's not start this show. madness. There she comes. Oh, very cool. That's a weird brain. I know that was 
I was just reading something where they said this lady right here was the new queen of the mills. <laughs> Miss Mindy Meek is live on the Heaven Hollywood Digital Experience. Yes. Thank you. The queen of the mills already. That's high praise. Thank you. I'm Jesus doing, Christ, you look beautiful. I'm doing my thing and loving it. You are definitely doing your thing. Um, <laughs> let's start off by telling the what because no one believes it. I didn't believe it. You are how old? I'm 46. Oh, 46. Uh, no, th that's lies. Lies, <laughs> lies, <laughs> lies. No, I swear. I would never say I was older than I was. Now I was born December 4th, 1968. So I am born. Wow. and proud. <laughs> Representing. Unreal. In all seriousness, and I mean dead honest, she is so naturally beautiful. She, you, you know what I'm saying? She just sheesh. I mean, God bless you. Seriously, Aww. Jesus Christ. And and and, and, and you just really started into the adult entertainment industry a few years ago. Correct. Wow. Correct. And and you started that with cam modeling. Yeah, yeah. I started cam modeling because I was losing my job and. Mm. I didn't know what to do, and I was encouraged by my man to get on webcam, and he thought I'd be great at it. So I started doing it, and then I lost my job three months later and went full-time with it. Right. And built up a good fan base, and I always loved women, and I've been bisexual my whole life. So oh, I thought, why not take it to the next level and do Beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> that's, that's such a beautiful thing to you say. You know, your, your husband's a lucky figure. Jesus Christ. You, you know what, uh, for Halloween, what's your husband's name? First name. You have to give a full name. First name. Oh, yeah, I did. Just Sam. Sam? Sam? For Halloween, I think I want to be Sam. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Matter of fact, <laughs> I want to be Sam now. <laughs> okay, Those are not even wait till October. That's too far. <laughs> yeah, that is a little late. Good yeah. For Good for the, he's, he's my hero. <laughs> Actually, we got to give yeah. Sam an applause. Give yeah. Sam an applause yeah. for, for, yeah. for knowing... That his lady would be great at cam modeling. Yeah, and it was him. Usually some dudes. Oh, yeah. They feel some, some that, kind of that's great. very big of him. Now, yeah. since, since he's done that, has he said, all right, now? <laughs> you know, be honest. Has there been a time where he's like, all right, you know, th this is a little bit too successful? <laughs> no, actually, he constantly tells me, I would say at least a couple times a month, how proud he is of me. And how he's so excited for me that I've done so well, and he, he actually he loves telling his friends. He lo you know he he thinks it's great. I mean, the only thing that is our agreement is I'm only gonna do girl girl porn. So you know we're okay. So there is a, there is okay. Right, girl, girl, yeah. Sam ain't no fool. <laughs> 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 there is a there is a line that is drawn. There is a method to his man. He ain't that proud of you. Yeah, exactly. There's a line that's drawn. Yeah, a line that's it has drawn. to be straight girls. Mm -hmm. It has to be straight girls, yeah. Although I am like one of like blowjobs are like really my specialty. <laughs> blowjobs especially, and you're not, and you can't give them on cam. And I can't give them on cam. No, no, I do it obviously. My thing on webcam, I have a lot of guys that come into my room for my blow jobs because of, well, I think it's partly because they love looking at my face well, and my eyes oh, while beautiful face. I have a dildo in my mouth, so, um, right. and my big titties, of course, you know, right there. Look at there. those things. And and what's the size of those, those, those two midgets there? These two midgets here, am I allowed to flash? Yes. Yes, please. Okay, these are 34 triple Ds. Beautiful. 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 Give that woman applause. For the hell of it. Let's give Sam an applause. And let's give Emmanuel Lewis and Gary Coleman those two midgets an applause. Um standing ovation, by the way. Her village has. Um so what did you you how did you what did you said you do full time now? So what did your day consist of? Do you you get up and is there, is there like a, there's a certain, is there something that you do every single, do you have a certain routine that always happens, or you pretty much wing it and play it by ear, depending on your feeling? No, actually, that's what I think a lot of people think is that, this, that, that doing porn,
porn and webcamming and, and video, custom videos. That's all. That's all really part time for me. I'm actually a, a contractor. I'm a B model construction worker. I, I have a business with with Sam and another family member of mine. So. Mm. A lot of the time, I'm actually, like today, I was working on a remodel construction job. I came home, cleaned up to do the, the show for you. So I don't have a typical day because construction is hit and miss. You know, I'm right. really busy right now, but come summertime in Arizona, nobody's here. They all leave practically. So I'll be doing a lot more stuff. Um, my adult business will, will pick up more in the summertime. So, but mm. when I am doing my my adult stuff my typical day is get up go to the gym come home shower you know eat a little something get on webcam later on film some clips and stuff like that so so uh, what is a long day for you as far as webcam <laughs> you're gonna laugh at this but a long day for me on webcam is three and a half hours that, well, that is pretty long to be webcast. Yeah. It, it is when I'm constantly busy, if that makes sense. Right. You know what I mean? Like, Absolutely. my body can only take so much. My mouth can take a whole lot more. Ooh, the other part, only handle Jesus so much. Christ. <laughs> so, so, now, how do they come into the room for the blowjob? So, with, do you, are you blowjobbing a dildo? Are you blowjobbing Sam's cock? What do you, what do, you do? Yeah, Sam, Sam is way too shy. I'm the only only way people ever see me give a real blowjob on him is if they buy my video clips. I have them on my website for purchase and also clips for sale. I have them on there. So that's the only way. Um, he won't do Skype shows with me or right. cam shows or any. He's way too shy. <laughs> well, what about POV? I mean, they, they, long yeah. they can't see his face. Yeah. I know, but I think it's the whole, like, pressure on him of performing, you know, I mean, right. I, I give a lot of applause for the male porn stars because mm. that's got to be tough, you know, they got to come on command and yeah. eat hard all the time, and yeah. you know, it's just like, it's a lot of pressure on a guy, so, yeah, it, you know. I have that pressure? It is definitely <laughs> a lot of pressure. Oh, no, 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 serious as it is, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are talking to Mindy Mink, she is... <laughs> Um, on Twitter, there's no underscore. It's just at Mindy Mink. Yes. Yep. Yeah. I'm keeping it simple. Even my website, MindyMink.com. I'm just keeping it all really simple. <laughs> By the way, it's M I D I. N D I. M I N D I. Right. And so a lot of people probably out there trying to check. Right. Trying to check in the Y. Yeah. Why? It's an I. So, uh, right now. You are, uh, so you're living in Arizona. Now, are you Arizona born and raised? No, I came from California. I've only been in Arizona about a year and a half. Mm. Yeah. Women out there are I can't hear him. What did he say? Oh. He, he, yeah. I said, I'm sorry. I said the, the uh, I heard Arizona is real nice, especially when uh, the women out there are hot, which includes you, of course, because you, now you live there, so Arizona is yeah. a beautiful place. <laughs> 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 so, so here's a question for Sam. Uh, I don't know whether S Sam is listening, but you can answer for him. No, he's, he's, no, he's actually still working. <laughs> you can answer this for him, because you, you, pro you probably know him very well. Is there is there something, is there a price that would allow him to say, all right, you can do this one guy scene? You don't have to tell me the number, but do you do you feel as though there is a price that would make him say, okay, I agree to it. Uh, twist my arm, I agree to it. Possibly. And I only say that because we have that discussion that a lot of people have, the whole um, discussion that that movie. You know, there was Indecent that Proposal. Show. Yeah. We've had that discussion, and I even said to him, if some sugar mama wants to <laughs> give us a million dollars to have right. it for the you are sold, baby. You are sold. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's funny. I ask women that, and, and I do like you. I asked women that question one time. My lady always goes, would you give me up for a million dollars for one night? The way things are right now, I'd give you up for 50 grand. <laughs> a million dollars. 50 grand. <laughs> Yeah. You can so, keep the fifty grand. I, you can you can keep the fifty grand. Mm -hmm. Then I mean that that's even less money. You have to ask me 
Four. Yeah. Leave me alone for like a week. <laughs> <laughs> but um, now I know the the way you look, and we're talking to Ms. Mindy Mink. Yes, beautiful. How does Sam handle when you're getting hit on outside of the cam world? Because I know you probably get hit on dozens and dozens of times a day. What What's a, a Sam response if a guy is hitting on you? Um, yeah, actually I do because he's a musician. He's the drummer mm -hmm. in a couple of bands here in Phoenix. So mm -hmm. I'm always at, on the weekends. That's why I'm always tweeting that I'm out dancing and I'm out at this place or that place because he's playing music. And, right. of course, he's playing music. I'm on the dance floor and I'm dancing. Uh -oh. And guys are mm -hmm. always coming up to me. And, and then oh. they talk a little bit. And then I put my arm around him and then I look at look at Sam and I'm like, that's my man right there. And he's drumming, but he just looks at the guys and goes, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know he, he is, you know, he's just not a really jealous type person. I mean, right. he has his moments, sure, but 98% of the time, he's not jealous at all and he, he's flattered. I gotta hang out with Sam. Yeah, oh, by the way, uh, speaking of Sam, she's actually a good friend of our friend, uh, Sammy Brooks. They're really good friends. I should have been able to tell by the boobs. Yeah, I know. Exactly. The Be boob twins. What? He said that you're actually a very good friend of our friend Sammy Brooks. I said I should be I should have been able to tell from the boobs. Yes. <laughs> yes. You want to hear it? that's a cute fun story. So oh, I'm with Sammy. Yes, do tell. One day I'm laying in bed watching other girls and because mm. I wanted to do some girl girl web Cammy. Right? I found Cammy and I loved her spirit, her energy, yes, everything yes. about her, right? So I got on and I chatted, you know, uh, while she was in free to chat and said, I'm another webcam model, I'm going to send you my profile, I'd love to, you know, do some shows with you. And uh, I lived in Northern California, she lives in San Diego, so uh, we started talking and I don't know, maybe a month or a month and a half later, I drove to San Diego and Sam came with me and, and did uh, two days of camp shows with her. So, oh my yeah. God! Oh, yeah. And so, so you two did cam shows together. Yeah, and if oh. I ever go back to San Diego, I would love to do some clips okay. for you know my clip store or for you know whatever. I don't know if she still has the clip store or what she has, but yeah, I love you know I really love being with women my age. I'll be honest. I mean, I love all the young girls too, but the women my age. A certain connection. Mm -hmm. There is more of a connection for me. Yeah, yeah. So now, where yeah. can that clip be purchased? Yeah, I know. So I can uh, <laughs> get away. my credit card ready. Sammy Brooks and I do that. We'll be shouting out to the Twitter world for sure. So oh, she, man. I feel like I owe a lot of my my success to her. Really? Because it was meeting her and doing those webcam shows, and then me asking her and to, you know asking her, hey, I want to get into girl girl porn only. Mm -hmm. What are some recommendations for some people to meet? And she kind of. Introduced me to someone who then introduced me to someone, Ooh. which led me to girlfriend's films. So it's kind of like, you, you know. See, you remind me. You, you two remind me of each other a little yeah. bit, too. Yeah, exactly. That's what yeah. you're going And may I say, Sammy's such a sweetheart because she loves to help people. Absolutely. So yeah. I, I, it's not surprising that she's like that. She's such a yeah. cool chick. She really is. I would really she's love for Sammy to help me. Never mind. Yeah. Go ahead. Any, you guys know that? What were you saying, sweetheart? I'm sorry. I was one of her bridesmaids at her wedding. Yes, yeah, she was. Along with there you Melissa go. Dawson too. Remember? Beautiful. Yeah, yeah. And, and like oh, I said, oh, oh, I, oh. I I can see you know you as well. I love your and I love what you said a few minutes ago when you said I just put the you know you didn't when the guy's coming on to you you know you don't take the the other route like a lot of chicks and say hey go get lost jerk. You said I put my arm around them and said there goes my man over there. There's no way any man can appreciate that. Yeah. Exactly. And, you know, and, and I, I'm a really friendly person, and I mean, they don't know if I'm single or what. Absolutely. You know? And because Sam is not a jealous type, and he's flattered by the attention I get, mm -hmm. you know, and he thinks it's cool, I still dance with the guy, you know, and talk and chat, and usually by the end of the night, I'm hugging him and give him a kiss on the cheek goodbye, you know? Well, that's that's a, that, I'll tell you, that's I a, I have to hang with Sam. Sam is my kind of guy. Yeah, that's a good yeah. idea. That's a cool guy. That's a cool guy. He is. He is yeah. a cool guy. Because, because I mean, not very many guys would be okay, probably, no. you know, with the things that I do, and you know, and, and but, but I always tell him, you're the one who started it. That's you know, right. That's right. That's right. Um, 
So let's see. The money aspect of what you do, is it more than you expected or less than you expected? It's more. Wow. Because mm -hmm. I only That's always a good thing. I only went into it with, okay, here's something that will supplement my job that went Absolutely. from time to part time. Um, but then as my popularity grew and I was constantly being busy at the time that I was webcamming, I saw the potential of what I could make in three or four hours and I went, wow, wow. that's awesome. <laughs> and then <laughs> now with the filming, um, being an exclusive contract star for girlfriends and having those perks and that publicity, um, everything has grown for me. You know, more people come to my website and buy my clips. And right. And set up Skype dates with me and, you know, all of that. So, yeah, absolutely. And I have to mention, in case he's listening, my number one fan of all time is Roger from New Jersey. And I love him so much. I love I'm you, Roger. Roger the Shout Roger out. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. I love him. <laughs> Roger, uh, shout out from the lovely Mindy Meek. That, that he probably, and more than likely, if he's your number one fan, he's definitely listening. Oh, pants, right? And or watching, and he just nutted on himself. I'm, I'm sure. going to guarantee you that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you say that. I'm a friend of mine, too, and I hope to meet him. Hopefully this year I might make it out to that erotica, exotica show or whatever in Jersey. I might try to go to that. That was my next question. Yes, please come to Jersey. I'm definitely going. <laughs> <laughs> because I go there every year. Do you? And, yes, and that, that was my next question. Um, yeah, Because what I do is I do a lot of covering for exotica, and um, uh, you know a lot of the media stuff for them, and then of course um, me oh my go to all the parties, all the VIP parties for oh, free. Oh, oh me oh my! Oh, oh. So um, <laughs> it's a stress. So you should definitely come. Uh, that would be uh, uh, lovely for you to come so to, to I, Exotica. I, I, I'm trying to figure out if I just go as a spectator or try to find a couple of girls and maybe have a booth together. I don't that would be great. That's even better. Yeah. Like a ladder. Yes, yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. That was that led to my next question. Have you uh, thought about now? Are you just strictly contract? You can only work at this point in time. You work for the the girlfriend films, or right. okay, we we'll do that now. All right, are you thinking about maybe getting some girls together under you and starting your own webcam business, and, and you getting off of the camera? No, not at this point. Um, I've thought about being the madam at some point, right. leader. You know, when I'm maybe not wanting to do the webcaming myself, but I still feel like I have at least five more years left in me to to do that. And then I might get on the other side of the coin and and stuff. But no, right now I to answer two questions. I'm exclusive with girlfriends. I signed a contract. I'm their contract star. Uh, the only other contract star they have right now is Princess. Mm. So Princess and I are their two contract stars. And by the way, I'm going to give myself a little a little kudos here. Um, Absolutely. Girlfriends has only had four contract stars in like 15 years mm -hmm. of being around. So it was quite an honor for them to offer that to me. And they've never had anybody over like 35. And they offered it to me when I was 45. So... That felt really good. <laughs> Give a round of applause. Oh, yeah. That 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 lets you know right there that you're doing something good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, right. really quickly, I saw you know through my super producer here. Thank you, Rivers. I that's saw me, a, that, that, that's a James Acevedo. Yeah, she knows. Him. Um, <laughs> a, a super like producer. <laughs> I saw a custom picture. Oh, yeah. of him, and I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm not a jealous guy. I got a little jealous. I like Sam. I thought that was an, an amazing. Yeah, unlike Sam, I got little. I thought that was amazing, and I I said to him. I even went to him, and said before the show, I want your permission to ask Mindy. I'm I'm sorry. I have to get one of those. I have to get a Heaven Hollywood custom picture that you like how you made right right there. Right there. No, I don't mind at all. I'm like Sam. I'm I cleared like, with him. I cleared. I'm, like, I'm, okay. I'm like Sam. I'm, I'm a man of integrity, and he goes, "You are." <laughs> I'm a man of integrity, so I, I I at least cleared it with him first. Yeah. Good. 
you know, so I don't want him to think, you know, I'm I'm biting his picture, which I actually am. No, but you, but, it's all but right. I was like, oh man, I have I have to get that. But, I have to have that uh, done for me. The thing with Mindy is that Mindy does this to all the fans, or real fans. That's what's so Appreciation. beautiful, beautiful about her. What many things beautiful about her. Wow. That's. I, you know what? If it wasn't for my fans and and people that support me in, in what I do, I wouldn't be doing it. You know, right. That's right. I, I'm appreciative of all the love and the support and encouragement that I receive from all of you. So it's only feels right to do that, you know, when somebody asks me. I mean, I won't just do it for everybody because right. I know, you know, that could get out of control. But right, so absolutely. Love that so spicy. Absolutely. Yeah, you should. Yeah. You should. That's my best friend calling. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to get ready to dance here. So you're talking to Mindy Mink. Um, I read some. I read somewhere online just a few minutes ago. They yeah, they're yeah. calling her the new queen of the mills. <laughs> and um, so what you can do is make sure when you get a chance, you do that picture for me. I would so much appreciate it. That'd be awesome. Um, shout out your website and of course your Twitter. And we we just ask that you come back real soon again. Absolutely, I would love to come back anytime you guys want me on here. Of course, so. Um, okay, so do me a favor, Heaven Hollywood. Yes. On the Skype, um, type in exactly what you want me to say. Okay. Yeah. And hopefully I can fit it all. That's a lot, probably. Heaven Hollywood. I don't know. It might go. Might go park down here. Uh, hey, <laughs> hey, listen, listen. I, listen. I, I don't, don't get. Might put from here and there. Oh, that would be beautiful. Look at look at that tummy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yummy, yummy. That, that is that a tummy. beautiful belly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want. I just wanted uh, her to see me real quick. Oh, of, of course. Me. Oh, yeah. Of course. Show my super producer over there. Hello. There you are. For, for making it happen. How you doing? Hello. 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 We appreciate so much. We appreciate my producer. I'd be uh, dog shit without him. Oh, um, And then I'll do my shout out because I know you guys have someone else to talk to. But um, my website is Mindy, M I N D I, Mink, M I N K. Which we didn't even talk about the mink. Um, oh, yeah. Well, well, hold on. Hey, hey. They can wait. Let's talk about the mink. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> so, again, we can owe this all to Sam. This is Sam's doing. Okay. Um, first time we were, you know, intimate, and he's, he, well, first when he first met me, he said he loved my hair. He loved, that was like the first thing he noticed. Don't, you do have beautiful hair. He wasn't lying about that. No, no. So when he, uh, you know, when I was getting undressed and he saw, you know, my full body and I had just a little patch of pussy hair and he said, wow, he said, um, it's a beautiful color. It's like this strawberry yes. brunette color. Yes. And he says, I bet if you let it grow out, okay. it would be so pretty like the hair on your head. I bet it would be really, really pretty. So this is all before I started webcamming. And you let it grow out? So I let it grow yes. out oh, and beautiful. he was just like feeling it and going, oh my god, it's as soft as a mink. Sam you know, is becoming my, Sam is more and more becoming yes. the person I aspire to be. He, he, here's another <laughs> great story which would make you even love her to probably propose right now. So I had her on my show, you know, my uh, bedroom was live show on the off radio, Fridays, uh, you know, 2 to 4 p.m. Stand time Shameless plug? Yeah, she was club, but oh well. And uh, this is during the World Series time. And she's a big uh, San Francisco Giants fan. Ooh. And she said, she said, if they win, I'm going to do something crazy. You know, I'm going to do, like, I'll go naked or something like that. Right? right. So the night that they won, which remember you had that rant, you know, with the with yes. such a horrible play at the end. Yes. So she takes a picture of her mink, and she tweets it to me, saying, the Giants won. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I I'm know. I'm so and honored. The reason why that might seem like a big deal is because I don't – I don't take pictures of my pussy. And that's what I'm saying. Special again. Yes, twice. So that's why I did it. It was like, okay, the Giants won the World Series Bye again. So, okay, let's show off the mink. But, uh, so, yeah, awesome. so that's what the mink is all about. Uh, so, you know, when I had to come up with a webcam name, mink had to be in it. Hello. So. And actually, it's funny because in the last two and a half years since I've been in the adult business, I've noticed more and more girls growing pussy hair. See, that's that coming back. Crazy. See how everything runs full mm -hmm. circle? So so you still have your mink? Oh, of course. You guys got to keep it now. Right. <laughs> yes, it's never going. So anyways, my website is Mindy Mink. 
com and Twitter is at Mindy Meek. Everything is just simple, just my name. There's no X's and and crazy names attached to my name, you know, to try to find me. Because I know that's frustrating for me when I try to find a particular porn star on Twitter and I type and I'll type in her name and I can't find her. Right. Mm -hmm. They got XXX all in the end. Yeah. Yeah, it's like it yeah. drives me crazy. So but I am old school. Hello, remember I'm forty six, so I like to keep things kind of simple and Low key. <laughs> How beautiful is this? I love you. Miss Mindy Meek, M I N D I Meek, stand up. Give us another look. This beautiful 46 year old woman, you have to be joking. Yeah. You no. have to be joking. I'm not. Here, I'll, I'll have to stand back for you to see me. Yes. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my God. Such a beautiful woman. Make sure you get yourself to Exotica. Next year, we'll all meet up. We'll do yeah. some parties. We got some crazy. We got crazy private parties going on that whole weekend. Uh, make sure we, you you get out to Exotica and I keep. Mean, hey, if I go, you'll get to meet Sam, the man. Sam, I, I, listen. Yes. I want to meet Sam now. Yeah, he's my hero. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, we we owe it all to Sam. Yeah, thank you, Sam. Mindy, thank you again for joining the Heaven Hollywood Digital Experience. I'm going to uh, t text over or message over my picture. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just thank you so much and keep doing your thing, you're yes, a beautiful you lady. Love you. Thank you boys, I love you and thank you to all my fans and thank you to Girlfriends Films if they're watching or listening for the option they've given me to be where I'm at today. So I love everybody and thank you so much, you guys. Humble and beautiful. Yes. You just can't beat that. Miss Minnie Meek! Bye. 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 <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful, oh. beautiful woman. <laughs> she does these two her. Jesus Christ! Oh wow, yeah, that's a, yeah. something reminding me of, of Sammy. So as soon as I so, saw so her, so even before I even run, yeah, I, I was like, hmm. her attitude, yeah, just the happy go lucky attitude. reminded me of Sammy. Yeah, that, well, that's one of the uh, many things besides her looks that right. makes her even more attractive to me. Because you know she understands oh. what is you know. I guess it's, you know what it is? I guess it's like a West Coast thing. Because West Coast women are like that. They just, most of them are like that. They just happy go lucky. She's from Arizona. Mm -hmm. You have. Um, well, she, was, she said she was originally from Cali. From Cali. Yeah, yeah. Just like Sammy was originally from Seattle. Washington. Right. Yeah. And so, oh my gosh, she's so tall. Oh my God. That's Mindy Mink. Uh, let's be honest. M I N D I M I N K. Yes. The Flash was legendary. Yeah, I love, I love when she has that question. Oh, it's okay if I show. Oh no! Please do. Oh no! No. Show those boobs. Show, show those boobs. What I'm gonna do is, for <laughs> no. So what? So what I'm gonna do is. Go ahead, You know, on the YouTube, I have to, I have to blur it out. But oh. but we didn't. We saw it live. Oh, see, I didn't know that. You have to blur that. You out. have to. Oh, how you do that? Well, I'm gonna. Well, my, my brother will figure it out. Oh, he's amazing. You know, you, yeah, you know, you pull it down, and she's gonna have to. We have to blur it after he sees it first. <laughs> because you know they, you know they, uh, of course, you know they took um. Was that niece down? They, 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 they blocked niece. What? What? So niece didn't do nothing. Uh, she turned on. She <laughs> stole the ass. She stole the boobs. Yeah, but, but but they haven't caught Sammy. That, <laughs> Sammy's yeah. still up. Hmm. What does that tell you? <laughs> I don't, hmm. I don't know. We are waiting on hopefully Jesse Jane. Jesse Jane uh, that's, is that's is, a person you, you right. yourself. She's she's landing yeah. in yeah. Dallas, uh, and she said she would give me Dallas. a call then. <laughs> of course, uh, right. Of course, my uh, producer, who um, is a diehard New York Giants fan. Now. Let me make something clear. The Dallas women are hot. So I don't hate all of Dallas. I just hate Dallas. <laughs> I hate Dallas. No, let me actually let me be specific. I don't hate the Mavericks, to be honest with you, because they beat the Heat. So anybody that beat the Heat, I can't hate that team ever again. So the Mavericks I don't hate. I just don't care for them. But the Cowboys I hate because I'm a Giants fan. And I hate Dallas. Well, Texas itself. Let me put it like that. But the women there, hey, feel free. I love them. most of the women. Oh my god. They, you know they say everything big is Texas? Um, you know, they big ass. <laughs> so, I'll tell you, man. But she, she's she amazing. Came through, came through. She's, she's absolutely she's absolutely like that beautiful. Story, right? That's a great story. 
tweet it to you, and you didn't tweet it to me. No, but I retweeted it. I did at that time. That was in oh, October. Late oh, October. Man. Oh man, you should should have tagged me to that. I didn't even see it. Oh, I know. I definitely no. I just didn't keep that. Oh myself. my god! I think what she tweeted it wasn't like a private. You know, it was private. Right, 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 right. Right. But she tweeted. I was I was like this. Was like, <laughs> Wow, what a beautiful. That's even better because that was more out the blue. It wasn't like with, uh, later on, you know, when I asked her. Now, all I did was ask her for the picture, you know, the, the topless one. Because I, I know she was going to do it or not, but I wasn't going to, you know, at like about two, three weeks there, she goes, here it goes. I'm like, oh my God. I was like, <laughs> I must have gained so many followers after that because I. Man, so, um, he must be something else, this guy. Maybe that's better. I hope. Hopefully we'll be able to get Jesse Jane on. I, I know uh, time permitting, she is landing in Dallas, and she said as soon as she lands, she will be able to call up. You know, bits. I don't get upset with um, with adult films and with celebrities altogether because number one, she is right now one of the top ten uh, porn stars in the world. That is um, uh, Jesse Jane. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know what? She didn't say, "Here's my manager." Yeah, you know, Jane, go, man. you know, go PR, through my manager, PR, go through my PR. Yes. So I'm gonna give her a little bit. I'm gonna cut her a little slack, um, big only only due to the fact that she could have very easily told me to stick it. I don't know who you are. Oh, you know, absolutely. I, don't, I don't know who you are, and, and I have, I'm. I'm a millionaire, bitch. What does what does this uh? How does this benefit me? Exactly. Never once did she say that. Uh, she just said, "Oh, you know, I, I told her that mm -hmm. Dollhouse Radio, we yeah, we're like the home, we, yeah, we're like the home of the we want to consider ourselves now the home of porn stars." That's true. Yeah. We are. We are the, the home. And any yeah, artist, the music. And any artist, artist, right? And, and you know, we want we want to make seems though so porn stars can hear this. We want to make porn stars feel as though they can come and say anything. On our radio, so it won't get misconstrued. Yeah, you won't right. have us quoting shit you never said. Absolutely. You won't have us judging you. Yeah, so that's, that's why we want them all to come to Dollhouse Radio. You got anything, any tea, any uh, things that are to talk about, any news, you're promoting anything, come to Dollhouse Radio first. And especially go to uh, the website, dollhouseradio.com. Right. We won't have that's you on job. there and then call you a whore when you leave, like these other nah, radio shows. So when you're on there, they're judging them and, you know, Trying to throw all these slick questions at them. We know who you are. Because, you know, okay, like I said, I've said this to all of my porn guests. I said, now, I'm honest, I'm attracted to you, and that's one of the reasons you're on the show. But another reason why I have you on the show, I want people to see the human side of you. I want people to see, I bring up certain questions that, you know, it's not just, well, what's your measurement? Sorry, right? right. How many dicks do you take at one time? You know, Absolutely. It's, it's actually a real, like a real, you get personal. We get personal. It's, it's more, it's not it's story. You get personal always, stories. That's a conversation. Excellent. Thank you. We're getting to know each other. Absolutely. You know, oh, yeah, so, uh, you know. I don't judge. You know, I wasn't even going to bring up that side of the boobs. I was one of my questions I had written down. But when she showed, she said, hey, these things here. Hey. Hey. It is a heaven Hollywood visual experience. A couple of things we'll talk about, and hopefully we can get. Uh, um, Jesse Jane, Jane in sure. uh, before 8 p.m. If not, we would have to bring her back, reschedule her. And she is, like I said, she said she can't control the plane. The, the yeah, actual plane not, was late. She cool. said she actually had all that factored in. She was supposed to be landing. I said that's the reason why I picked 7:30. I was actually supposed to be landing, you know, at 7:20. So you know, but the plane was late. Um, a couple of things that that. Uh, Good. Oh, funny. What what what's the, the um so the so Jay Z has begun uh -oh. pulling his uh music now, from YouTube. Yeah, we talked about this last week. Yep. Um. Mm -hmm. He um his first and to me best album, Reasonable Doubt, is now That's unavailable it. on YouTube. Wow. The start of here it goes. The start. There's the start of it. It's unavailable on YouTube. Classic album. Definitely a classic album. Most definitely a classic album. Yeah, I can't it's um, 19 years ago. 19. Biggie has been dead 18 years. He was, Biggie was still alive when he made that. Album. Think about that. That's crazy, dude. What wow. the hell time? 
looking at your shirt right now, Run DMC, I remember like yesterday when they were still, you know, doing what yeah. they were doing back then. Kings from Queens, from Queens come the kings. kings. We're raising hell like a class when the lunch bell rings. Oh, that's one of my most favorite lines ever in hip hop. I love that. That's my favorite black group. Because they paved the way for everybody else. Absolutely. Like Enemy and De La Soul, Tribal Quinn, blah, 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 blah. I mean, not to say, not to not give credit Treasures 3, you know, uh, right. Travis of Flash Furious 5. Of course, they were around before them. Absolutely. Around the same time, but they were the first to hit the mainstream and just took it to that next level. And they were the first to take sample rock beats. It wasn't even, they didn't want to, and I remember um, Homeboy, um, you know, DMC, he was saying how, that wasn't even planned. It just so happened because everybody else was using break beats, which they used. Right. They wanted to use different rock beats, and it just took over. And he just went to the strategy after that. I mean, that music is so relevant now. I mean, to me, it is anyway. It's like it's classic. As we right. know, it's legendary music. When it, you could play it now, over right. twenty-five plus years later, and it's still banging. It's classic. It's a Biggie stuff, Jay Pop, all those type of guys, Travis Quest, all those guys. Um, I'm 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 getting a story here that um, there is a unauthorized um autobiography about Beyonce Knowles that is going to come out, and from what I hear, she is not pleased of what's in this book. Well, what is supposedly in this book is supposedly allegedly in this. book. Unauthorized like autobiography from, 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 from someone who 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 is, is is allegedly getting stories from people from Beyonce's inner circle, people who dealt with Beyonce, okay. past PR reps. So somebody she knew. Someone's pretty much someone snitching around, not right? Friends no more. And it is it tells about Beyonce and Jay Z's not so. Storybook marriage. It also tells about uh, Jay Z's affairs, more than one. It also talks about Jay Z drug use. Even now, after you know drug use within the marriage, and they didn't just uh, say Jay Z. So it's a lot of it, right. It's a lot of things that that they're saying uh, that Beyonce, Bobby Brown type? right? Beyonce probably not as bad <laughs> because yeah. because you would yeah, have thought by now. Yeah, yeah, true. But um, they're saying that there's a lot of stuff in this book, and they also tell exactly what that elevator fight was about. Even though we already know, we well, told everybody yeah, that yeah, yeah. over a year ago. Give you the first ones, but uh, <laughs> right, the, the first, first ones. Anyway, whatever. You know, well, you know. I'm just saying. No credit but, um, once again. Right, but um, they're yeah. gonna tell everybody what the, you know, what the fight was really about. Well, um, which we knew, like, even though we know, we'll say it again. Ago. So, from what from what we're hearing, Beyonce is trying her damnedest to get this stopped, not come out. So we'll see what happens. See how much money she has to, um, you know, wiggle up mm. to shut this dude up. Well, she's probably a little um, <laughs> So, <laughs> so Tiger and uh, Kylie Jenner was seen going to Easter service with Tiger's son. Uh oh. But we're just friends. Me and Kylie are just friends. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Sure. Yeah, because that that's something that you do with a friend. You go to some something very intimate like that. You know, Easter service with with the child present, by the way. Because that's not, that's just friendly. Right? Yeah, that's what friend we, stuff. What, what, what do we know? Right? Friends do that. Yeah, but friends, uh, yeah, friends do that. Yeah. Um, friends of the opposite sex. Do speaking that. of Jenner's, <laughs> April twenty fourth, Bruce Jenner's exclusive interview. About time. I was wondering when the date was gonna happen. With Diane Sawyer, and he will be discussing for the first time his gender change. I want to talk about this quickly. What? Um, I will say this. I have nothing against transgenders. Me I have nothing against um, gay people. Me I have nothing against transvestites, what have you. But I have something against Bruce Jenner, and I'll tell you why. 
Bruce Jenner is now what? 70 years old or closing in on 70? I guess that's about right because in the, in the 70s when he, when he did the Wheaties box and all that stuff, the, he was already, what, in 40? Or, no, maybe no, not, no, not 40. Early, he's in his 20s. 20, late 20s, early 30s. Yeah, at least. If he's near 70, he's over 40 years ago. Um, Bruce Jenner has Kendall, Kylie, four, he may have five kids, maybe even six. Okay. He's been married a couple of times. Okay, you now have grown children that have to attend school or don't have to attend school because of their money, but they have to deal in this society, social media, what have you. What selfishness have you bringing over yourself that you now? That, that's my only thing about it. Want to change genders that's now? What I'm that's what I'm saying. That's what I've been saying. And you're going to say this is, has, has been your feeling for long. Well, then why didn't you say something then? And especially within the last, okay, you want to say 10 years. How long have you been with? You've been with Chris Jenner at least 17, 18 years. Oh, come on. But I'm saying, why, especially when you're not part of Kardashians no more, like the show? Whatever, right. Because, come on, you put at it. Together. Right now, you want to come out with this, and come and on. then I'm I'm hearing that he's upset that his family is not supporting him. Well, what do you expect Kylie and Kendall to say? Here's a man who they've known as their dad their whole entire life. Well, the answer is they were kids. Yes. Their whole entire they life. Were they were born. Yeah, you're absolutely right. How do you expect them to? Now, of course, they're still gonna love him. Of yeah, course, that's, that's, yeah. that's their father. That's their parent. I can't even say their father. Or they're it. But do you expect Kendall and Kyla, who's now in the social media, they're in the limelight, this just adds extra ammunition mm -hmm. for people who can't stand them as it is. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine what they have to go through? Bruce Jenner, I'm not even going to feel sorry for Bruce Jenner because he obviously... Thought this decision out, and he chose to make this decision. Absolutely, don't force him. Now, after he's had children, and now falling out with Chris Jenner, falling out of the limelight, fall off of the show. Mm -hmm. Now, all of a sudden, you're walking yeah. around. He's walking around today with a red fingernail polish on. Oh, God. Looks like he's gotten the sex change. Looks like he's, he's shaved an Adam's apple. You know, come on, come on. He doesn't look like a. Uh, he doesn't look like a ugly white man. He does. Old ugly white woman. Let me, uh, let me be specific. <laughs> you just, but that's what, that's what I have a problem with that. I think it's because to me that is to be just, relevant at any cost. To me, that's an insult to Sydney Star to uh, transgenders yep. who became transgender at a young age and realized, you know what? At this young age, mm -hmm. I'm going to transgen and I'm going to deal with. All of the scrutiny. Yes. Uh, growing up. That's right. Bruce Jenner's already lived his life. He, he, Bruce Jenner's closer to death than he is life. Mm -hmm. It's like it's like when somebody already made their career, or whatever, and then go, "Oh, I was gay." Oh, oh. oh right. Because now you know you're safe. Right. So you got all your because, money. But, right. Because you know? of the scrutiny comes. So what? Yeah, I, I, I can go. I can go hide away. Okay. Now anyway. I'm, I'm rich, bitch. You know? Right. <laughs> I I I sucked away. I I sucked sucked in all the women. Think, singing baby this girl this and, and thinking that and then also oh I was gay you you had crush on, you had crush on me and, and I was yeah. gay well what Rosie O'Donnell wasn't a uh, you know, she wasn't attracted men weren't attracted to her anymore. no but you know I'm saying in general <laughs> even some men, females the men were like, like she's gay yes yeah yeah, yeah. oh they were like I'm not <laughs> <laughs> but that would be you know what that would be like that would be like Prince right now coming out and say ha 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 I was gay all this time. I am the, let me tell you something, <laughs> if there is fan and then the closest thing to fan is if I could take a bullet for Prince and not die mm -hmm. and not feel any pain. Yeah, you got paralyzed. Right, I'm not paralyzed. Yeah, does it cost you that much? I would, I would jump in, in front of him to, to save him. That's how much of a fan I am. If he ever came out and said that, you know how much money I've given Prince Rogers Nelson over his life? Of his, what is he now, 52, 53 years old? Think about what you just said. 50 to, see, now you know where we're getting old when 
people we grew up watching, listening, you know, whether it's TV, music, are getting older. And you want, damn, I'm getting fucking <laughs> Think about that. He's in his 50s. And by the way, I heard from a source that he's actually doing one of those, um, a surprise concert in the Fox Theater, actually this Thursday nights. And he is, he is the king the of, he is the king of surprise Fox concerts. Theater. Yeah, the Fox Theater, by the way, in Detroit, the beautiful theater. When he does a surprise concert, my man, it is something you remember for the rest of your life. I've probably seen Prince probably close to 50 times over my life. Live. Oh, yes. Wow. You lucky man. I have, I've definitely um, seen him at least 50 times. That's awesome. Have you ever, like, tried to interact? Were you that ever? Well, then most of these concerts took place when I was younger. I wasn't really into the media thing then. Oh, so I mean, I was just just so stu now. I would have loved to meet him. Hey, you want to go back? Say, oh man, really? I mean, but when I started getting into media, I wasn't able to. He wasn't doing interviews by oh, that time. Oh, by then, yeah. yeah, that's when he changed his name, right? The right, he things. changed. And I know, like I said, I know all the print stories. I know. I know people, I know his ex, I've met ex-roommates of Prince. Think of how many careers he helped. When you think about it. You know, Carmen so Electra, many. Um, Sheila E. Uh, who else? There's more, right? Isn't there like more that like, he made famous in a way? <laughs> Thanks to him? Yes. Think about it. He made, now, and then don't forget the people. Oh, Sheila oh, is gorgeous. Yeah. Don't forget the people who he wrote for that you didn't hear about until he wrote a song for him. Like, you know, he wrote Manic Monday for the Bengals. Classic oh, wow. song. That is a classic song. Uh, he wrote he wrote several he, he I wrote, don't know he uh, ghostwrited. I didn't know. Yeah, he wrote Manic he wrote a song for Sheena Easton, if you remember the sexy Australian or whatever she was. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um oh, I He's written a lot of songs. Yeah. And he's, he's ghost, a and, you know how they say a musical genius and you know, that's a genius. Website, if you go to the Webster dictionary there's a picture of the definition of the word, you know. That would, if you see musical That's genius, him. the prince will show up. Most definitely. And I know there's a lot of people to this day. Oh, he wasn't. There was always the Michael Jackson versus. Prince. Always. But Michael, I always preferred Prince. Yes. And Michael Jackson exactly. is the greatest entertainer yeah. ever. But that's mean. But Prince to me, is, yeah, is the best performer ever. Yes. Because he wrote. He performed all these. He jumped off. He would produce, jump on the drums. Produce, he comes right. He's the best performer ever. Right. Michael Jackson, hands um, down, no, is no the greatest disrespect. entertainer no, ever. I mean, no disrespect. Right, no, to no, ever live. Yeah, no, when, no, when you entertain, you're talking about his music videos. Influential right. in the world. Don't get He's an entertainer. No, 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 his no, no, concert no. performances, performances no. on TV, it, his music videos. It's legendary. He made music, and he took music videos to the next level because it was just boring, non, uh, non-creative stuff. Performing until, to until me, performing to me is strictly performing. When you're on stage, yes. and like, I've like, never seen a man who goes and jumps off, mate, and jumps on an instrument, yeah, and then was, jumps on another instrument, yeah, and he, jumps on another instrument. He played everything. Right. See, Michael Jackson was like Elvis as far as he's a great entertainer. Right. But now I'm sure Michael. I think Michael was a tad bit more talented than Elvis. I think Michael, Michael did play piano a little bit. No, I agree. Right. I think you know Elvis didn't play nothing. He played the guitar. Yeah. Maybe he was young in the fifties, mid fifties, but not later on. He would just have it there like a like it was an ornament on the chain, you know, like a medallion and shit. No, seriously, uh, I, I, trust me. My mother's a hardcore uh, Elvis Presley fan, so I grew up with this. So right. I watch. I've seen every concert. You know, my mother has a Graceland in her basement. I just shoot you back. So I know Elvis. So when you tell me about, it, I know Elvis stuff. Trust right. Me, but it's still, you know everything he did. Da da da. So. Yeah, and I and don't get me wrong, I respect Elvis. You know, he's great. I mean, he influenced you know people too, but he's not all, an all around you know musician. He's not. He's not like Prince. Prince was is a musical genius. He's you know just like when they say um, <laughs> like Eddie Murphy said in one of his uh, in uh, his uh, Stevie Wonder is a musical yeah, genius. Yeah. That is, is true, but a little different. I don't know. He, he, I, I still think Prince is better than him. Yes. And Stevie Wonder is great. I don't get me wrong. Wonder is great, but Prince. It was you know, suck the day he dies. I'm, right. How, you know, Stevie Wonder. You know, Stevie Wonder. You know. Uh, I share you, know, yeah. you name it. Stevie Wonder is great, but you know, Stevie Wonder can't dance. He trip over his feet. But see, there um, you go. 
that's the thing. You've been listening to the Having on with Digital Experience. Don't kill me, Stevie Wonder fans. We love Stevie um, We'll get with Jesse Jane next time. That's okay. Um, that's she wasn't able to meet it, but I do appreciate her checking in and letting me know that uh, cool. it may not happen. But we do want to thank Mindy Mink. Yes. Um, beautiful interview. Great interview. Great woman. Yes. A person I just texted, um, I told and a great beginning. body. And a very beautiful body. Yes. So, um, 46, 46 years old. 45, I was wrong. 46. Wow. Make sure you check her out. Go uh, follow her. Get on her website. Uh, check out her cam shows. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's definitely worth it. Uh, we want to thank and Dan Morell, Dollhouse Radio, of course. Yes. We want to thank Sammy Brooks for for helping. As you can give help. Sam, let's thank Sammy Brooks and Sam. <laughs> for giving us Mindy Mink. Yes, that's how I got to know her. Absolutely. And of course, thank everybody out there. Um, make sure you check out the Heaven Hollywood Digital Experience Tuesday nights. Uh, that is the podcast, in case you missed this. The podcast are Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. on blogtalkradio.com forward slash <laughs> Dollhouse Radio. And even if you miss this watching this live, you can still watch it anytime you want. Absolutely. Go back and archive it, and, and you, while it's still up, you'll get to see a, a treat that, that we saw. Yes, uh, before uh, some altercations. Actually. Right, for some haters. Hi, yeah. hater. Hi, hater. Some haters come. So, um, yeah. mm -hmm. it is, of course, Heaven Hollywood, Heaven Hollywood Digital Experience. We'll see everybody next week. That's right. Later, haters. Yeah, later, haters. And as always, haters. And tomatoes, haters. Haters. Haters.